Hello and welcome to Art Bites, short encounters with the collection at the Mariana Kistler Beach Museum of Art. My name is Emma Kellogg and I'm a gallery teacher here at the museum. Today I'd like to share a screen print by the artist Lydia Asaneta. In this screen print, titled What's Happening, you can see a group of people who appear to be peering over a ledge at something down below them. I chose this work because it feels theatrical to me with the enthusiastic nature of the gestures of the people looking over the ledge. And I believe it captures Lydia Asaneta's spirit as someone who is passionate about theater and performing arts as well as visual arts. In these two works side by side, titled What's Happening on the left and You're Leaving the Country Now on the right, you can see the way that Asaneta portrays the human figure dynamically in her work. Asaneta was an artist with many different venues for her work. She made many screen prints and other types of prints, and she was a playwright and a makeup artist for theater and a costume designer. She gained knowledge for sewing when she was growing up in the Philippines, as she stated that most households in the Philippines had sewing machines. Much of her artwork is bright and colorful, and her prints explore color schemes, as you can see with this monochromatic purple aqua tint on the left titled Full Many a Flower and this vibrant screen print on the right titled Four Seasons, which reminds me of a quilt in the way that blocks of color are pieced together. Asaneta was born in the Philippines in 1925, and she earned her bachelor's degree as well as her master's in teaching in the Philippines by 1958. In 1965, she arrived in Manhattan, Kansas to continue her studies at Kansas State University, pursuing a master's in speech and drama. The discovery of new places and cultures impacted her creative process, as she states in an interview discussing her creative writing process. I can get more ideas in America. In order to write, I need to know other traditions and cultures for the background of my plays. I can do that here. By having the knowledge of different cultures from the experience of living in different countries, she could see how the culture of the Philippines was different from new cultures she encountered. Her play, The Cross of May, which she wrote for her master thesis at Kansas State University, is a story about the Filipino people and the influences on their culture. Asaneda spoke about a theme in this play being the Spanish occupation of the Philippines, which lasted for 350 years. And then afterward, the culture established by the American occupation of the Philippines clashed with this Spanish culture. The play explores how young people in the Philippines grappled with this conflict. The etching here, titled May Festival, depicts a Spanish festival. During her life, Asaneda also traveled to Spain to research her heritage. Her interest in politics and the impact of war and conflict are reflected in her work in theater as well as her prints, such as this etching titled, I Want You. Feel free to pause and take a moment to observe this work and see how the figures relate to each other. Asaneda has depicted this iconic American World War I recruitment figure, Uncle Sam, juxtaposed with the image of a child, I want to ask the question, what does this work evoke for you? And how does Asaneda's juxtaposition of figures speak to power dynamics? This work reminds me of themes that she explored in her play, The Cross of May, such as the clash of the old and new traditions. Now let's take a look again at two different versions Asaneda made of this screen print titled, What's Happening? 
The medium of screen printing allows for repetition. So the same screens can be reused thousands of times. This repetition makes it possible for artists to make different versions of prints so that they can change the color scheme and add or take away layers, for example. During the exposure process of making a screen print, the image can be reversed. So I imagine that Asaneda created a reverse image at this point in the screen printing process. A final question I'll leave you with is, how does the way that Asaneda explore color and composition in her screen prints change the way that these artworks feel? Thank you for joining me today for Art Bites. <laughs>